Good morning, everyone. Welcome to our Rhapsody reading. I hope you had a wonderful Sunday. Today is the 21st of September, and our title is Your Name in the Book of Life. Our shouting scripture is from Revelations 22, verse 19, and it reads, And if any man shall take away from the words of the book of his of this prophecy, God shall take away his part out of the book of life. Pastor Chris says, Many have assumed that when someone gives his heart to Christ, that's when his name is written in the book of life. But that isn't what the Bible teaches. It's never really about your name being written in the book of life. The problem is about being removed from the book of life. In Exodus 32 verse 32, Moses said to God, Blot me, I pray thee, out of thy book which thou hast written. Moses knew about the book of life. It's not the book where your name is written when you're born again, because Moses wasn't born again. So what's the book of life? It's the book where God registers everyone who was ever born into this world. Read our theme verse again. It was a warning to everyone. God's plan originally was to have every one of us with him. The Bible says he's not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. 2 Peter 3 verse 9 Everlasting fire was never prepared for human beings. Matthew 25 verse 41 But for the devil and his angels. But God gave men the power of choice. Whoever doesn't find their names in the book of life eventually have themselves to blame. God's reply to Moses in Exodus 32 verse 33 that we, re- that we read earlier was, Whosoever hath sinned against me, him will I blot out of my book. Exodus 32 verse 33 What this simply means is that you leave your life unto God. Walk every day in love and in righteousness, and your name will remain in the book of life. Live a life that glorifies Jesus Christ. 2 Corinthians 5 verse 15 says, And that he died for all, that they which live should not henceforth live unto themselves, but unto him which died for them and rose again. You may kindly repeat this prayer after me. Say, Faithful and righteous Father, thank you for the privilege to be a witness for your saving power. I pray for souls around the world today to receive your word and be converted. Also, I declare that my works in the kingdom and walk with you are purified by your spirit for your glory in Jesus name amen and for further study you may read Isaiah 50 verse 7 Mark 10 verse 29 to 30 and Revelation 3 verse 5 thank you so much for tuning in and see you again tomorrow with another Rhapsody reading God bless you